First time we've bought a Christmas tree without Jack and Annabelle, I think, probably since they've been born. Yeah, and the quickest I've ever been too, I think. The two are not correlated. <laughs> no. Um, kids in their school have been tested COVID positive, so our two, I got to self isolate for 14 days, they're not allowed out of the house. <laughs> Which, yeah. And they, there's one thing they actually both, the last few years, have wanted to do is come and get a Christmas yeah, tree. Yeah, they always like getting a Christmas tree, but then yeah. they're teenagers now, so they don't want to go outside anyway. Oh. A bit of an emergency. Coffee machine's broken. I think it's the heating element. No continuity. 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 Hey, I was right. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you had me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart. Promise and to stop. Coffee. Coffee. Oh, so much. Stove. Well, there's something funny. There's something funny about coffee machines because they're not convenient. You go through a lot of steps, but it's like the series of steps you go through making the coffee is um, something you get so used to making lots of coffee. I didn't want to replace the coffee machine because I missed that series of movements. You get a different coffee machine, it's different. different. Yeah. I can't explain it very well. But it's also it's very satisfying to keep something running. You might have seen me fixing this thing before. It's what, six years old? So. Yeah, it's your birthday, didn't you? Your 40th birthday. So. Yeah. So it's at that age. It gets, a hard, it gets a hard life where it's getting a number of parts replaced. But they're, they're pretty simple inside. They're really well made. And you can get the parts because it's all like Italian and stuff. Right. Good, job done. Next. But the sun's out now, so to climb today, okay. trying to pick <laughs> if the wall is still in, like that one over there, if the wall is still in shadow like that, it's going to be Frozen. freezing. Yeah. But if it's too low, it's still going to be wet. Let's try and find a wall that's dry enough to climb on, warm enough to climb on. Yeah, so your fingers aren't frozen in the first place. But the sun's so low because we're almost at the shortest day of the year. The sun's kind of going whoop. It's not even going up and down, is it's it? It's not it's coming barely meeting the, barely leaving the horizon actually. <laughs> of this, where the sea meets the, uh, the sky. So, like trial wall, will probably be in the sun. I think we've got to climb about 7A. People seem to be having a very long run up to Christmas this year. There were lots of Christmas trees and decorations going up in November, which I like. I think a lot of people this year need something to look forward to. I think that's one of the big things, kind of one of the big unspoken things that's affecting people is, I mean, particularly, particularly us, is we, we're always planning to do something, always planning to the future and planning to do something and we're not able to right now because we don't know what the future is going to let us do. Uh, Black Buttress is starting to get the sun over there. Kim has been struggling on this route for a while and she did it, well, pretty much no bother last time, right? Yeah, I did it in literally no bother, actually. Yeah. Considering the first, well, couple of, for about a year and a half I've been working on it and just not been able to do it. Go. 
when it's really cold it's harder to get yourself to go out of the house because it's really cold and you know that if you go climbing you're going to be holding on to freezing cold rock without any gloves and wearing thin rock climbing shoes <laughs> so you try to pick roots you're not going to be swinging around them for too long it's more getting out you know like i say touching the rock and being on the rock it, well, I, it's more about being outside more than anything else to be honest it's easy just to not do it but when you do do it you realize that it's not that bad and you feel better because you went outside and i can promise santa's coming to visit no he wouldn't miss this in christmas times Thing is it gone cold already? Yep. I'm sure it is a lot more solid than it looks, right? Yeah, so, so far. So far. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Route number three, tick tick tick. And yeah, as soon as you take your fingers off the rock, you can you warm up quite quickly. Yeah, you do. So because you're not, so. yeah, it's when you're holding on to the rock, it's just, oh, your fingers go frozen. So as long as you keep moving, if you get off the rock, it's fine, isn't it? My nose is freezing, though. We haven't got, a, we haven't got matching down jackets. We just swap over the, the belay down. Well, we have kind of, I've got a green one of the same, but I've got it with me. <laughs> keeps the jacket cooler? warm, keeps the belay warm. Is he right? We did it! We made it up to the sun! The sun is coming around and it's going to go down in about two fingers. Because the longer I fast it back, the colder my fingers are getting. Yeah. So you can't... Like, oh, you, you lose a bit of confidence in your, in your strength then. Yeah, it's weird because you kind of... You have to move quickly. And somehow your, your confidence is lower because you can't feel the rock so well, but you have to summon confidence from somewhere so that you move quickly and confidently <laughs> so you don't get too cold and lose your confidence. Ugh. It's weird. My nose is but it's good. good. It doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the wind was in the rain is falling. It will always be 4 p.m. and the sun is gone. Time to shoot. It gets, it's got a lot colder. As soon as the sun starts to go down, everything gets damp and cold. And right, shooting off. Right, that was good. Um, more of a workout for the mind and the soul than the fingers or the body, which arguably are just as important. Oh.